Students often confuse these GCSE terms and it'll cost you marks. So let's go through them to make sure you get the right one. So first up, atom versus iron. If you use the wrong one in an exam answer, you will lose marks for this. So an atom is a neutral particle. It's got equal numbers of protons and electrons. Remember, protons are positive and electrons are negative. So if you've got the same number of them, then the charges cancel out. That is what every atom has got. And that is what every element has got because every element is made up of atoms. An iron is not neutral. An iron has got a negative or a positive charge because the atom has lost or gained electrons to gain a full outer shell. So if an atom loses electrons, it becomes positively charged. And if it gains electrons, it becomes negatively charged and forms ions. Next up, state symbol versus chemical symbol. Again, an important one because state symbols appears on every exam. So a state symbol is the state that a substance is in. It could be a solid, liquid, gas or aqueous, which is dissolved in water. The chemical symbol is the symbol that element is given that's written in the periodic table. For example, oxygen has got the chemical symbol of O2 at room temperature. It's got the state symbol of G because it's a gas at room temperature. So do not be one of those people that spend ages looking in their periodic table for state symbols. You will not find them there. And the last one is a compound versus a molecule. So a molecule is just a group of atoms, two or more atoms bonded together. Compound is two or more different atoms bonded together. So for example, oxygen, O2, that would be classed as a molecule because there's two atoms bonded together. It's a group, whereas it's not a compound because there's only oxygen atoms. Water would be a compound because you've got different elements, but it's also a molecule because they're more than two bonded together. Comment below with any other chemistry terms that you'd like explaining.